Awards 2019. My name is Brian and George has asked me to assist him in this evening as I am the native English speaker for those of you who do not speak Romanian, of which I am one. Uh, there is only two protocols for today. The first thing, can I ask everyone to put their mobile phones on silent, please, and ensure that they have them. And the second is to enjoy the afternoon. With regard to the honoured guests, there are 90 restaurateurs and chefs in the room tonight. They are the best in Bucharest at the moment. You are in very esteemed company. There will be two classifications of awards this, uh, this afternoon. The first is the top dishes, and then that will be followed by the best restaurants. Just before we start, a quick word of thanks to the supporters and sponsors who have made this afternoon possible. Altex, Veranda Mal, Barilla, Sedexo, Vitus Metamorphos, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, apologies if I didn't. Nespresso, Tuborg, Maspex, Express Soft, and of course, the JW Marriott Bucharest Hotel. Oh, please, stop eating. <laughs> Eat as we go. If we're waiting for all of this to finish, you'll be eating at around four o'clock, so please. Let's keep it relatively informal. Um, George asked me to say a few words about my experience of food in Bucharest and restaurants. I started coming to Bucharest in approximately 2013. And at the time, I don't think there was very few people from Western Europe who would have looked at Eastern Europe as a food, a place to go and get really good food. And if we're honest, I think that there was always good restaurants, but there weren't any really great restaurants back in the day. I think I've been privileged to see that change on a year-on-year -year basis. It did take a while for a new cuisine revolution to hit Bucharest, but I think it has definitely been worth the wait. You know, we're in, today we're in the company of restaurateurs and chefs, where the preparation and the presentation of food, they're bringing it to a new level. The adventure that they are bringing is something that I don't think anyone would have associated with either Romania or Eastern Europe. Uh, last week, we were out, my wife and I were out having a meal. It was octopus cooked in orange juice. And then another meal we had it was accompanied by an Ethiopian sauce. So to think that in that short space of time, you guys have brought this eclectic type of menu to Bucharest is fantastic and you are to be highly commended. You're not here to listen to me. So I would like to introduce the Ambassador of Switzerland, Arthur, uh, Arthur Matley, beg your pardon, to say a few words. Thank you, thank you very much, Brian. Uh, you are not here to consume speeches but good food, uh, so I will give uh, one of my shortest speeches ever given. Just give me a few seconds and as the music melody is composed by repetition, so I have to repeat what Brian already said with a few words of thanks. And I will not name all the uh, people who deserve the thanks, but just the category first. I will start with the organizing committee, the 90 restaurants managers and chefs, the members of the juries, the sponsors, the members of the media. But please join me in giving today a very special thanks to George, Nina and Daniel.
just before we opened the door, I had a talk with Brian, and I think he gave me the best quote uh, when it comes to Bucharest and restaurants. And Brian, with your permission, I want to quote you, who said, you may make a bad choice in a restaurant, but you will never be served with bad food. And I like that quote very much. The reason most probably many restaurants and so many restaurants have participated in this year may be five of them. First, because it was a showcase for them to test its culinary excellence. And I think everybody, every chef has put its best effort into it. Second, it was also to get a fair feedback from an independent jury and food lovers, which is quite important. Too often you get just compliments of complacence, and here we were, I was also a member of the jury, I think we were fair. Thirdly, it is also to perceive your restaurant in a marketplace which is very vibrant, like in Bucharest. Fourth, it is also to attract new customers, and fifth, is also to brand yourself. I have just a few observations to make to that, I think we have seen over the last few months a high quality of plates, high quality of restaurants, and I would add also at affordable price. We have seen innovation, diversity in, in a wonderful culinary language, and when we ask from where does that come from, we have most probably go to dig a little bit into history of uh, Romania with this diversity that this country has, with the also geographic position from the Black Sea to the Carpates, to Transylvania, to Wallachia, to Moldova, which has all these regions and borders have their own culinary languages. And we don't forget that, of course, Romania has a very important uh, agro base, uh, which is also very important when it comes to the freshness of all that. But there is, ladies and gentlemen, a paradox. A paradox, when I look to a few statistics, I discovered that in the European average, the Romanian household spends an average 27.8% of their budget on food and non-alcoholic beverages. That was in 2018, and it was by far the highest share within the European Union. I repeat, 27.8%. Now this is almost a double of any other European country, the EU average is at 12%. So it tells me the story that Romanians, they really, really love to spend money when it comes to food. But I said it's a paradox, because the paradox is when I'm looking down in the statistics of spending in the restaurants, and there the statistics is just upside down, it's just half of the European average. And we are speaking uh, of an average which we can also reverse. Romanian paradox in the spending is that Romanian household spends a much lower share of their budget in restaurants and hotels. It is 3.1% compared to 8.7% EU average. Ladies and gentlemen, dear restaurant owners and chefs, this is good news for you because I'm sure that everybody will agree that the food is excellent and it's worth to spend also that money. Bucharest has been known as a music destination and Romania has been generally known for its history and beautiful landscapes. I think today we can state that Bucharest has demonstrated to be also a culinary destination. The success factors of the restaurants are today determined by its innovation, the quality of the product, products served and the services, and the very attractive prices. Let me just end with one quote uh, from Mark Twain, who said, part of the secret of success in life is to eat what you like and let the food fight it out inside. Bon appétit. Okay, we're going to move straight into the top dishes in Bucharest 2019.
starting with sushi. This is the second year of the Top Dishes and Blue Press Awards. Uh, there was approximately 70 adjudicators, 30 countries represented on the adjudication panel, of which 20 were ambassadors. Over 40 restaurants were evaluated across 13 specialities. This is all about the dish. This allowed the restaurateurs, the chefs, to be creative. The only criteria was that it had to be on the menu or soon to be on the menu. It allowed people to go artistic. The primary judging criteria was based on the taste, predominantly, obviously, presentation, freshness, flavour. Next year, uh, George is hoping to expand both the categories and the number of restaurants involved, and it would be again all based around creativity. So, the best sushi. In third place, Sushi room. Zen sushi. Okay, in first place, the Argentine. If you could come forward, please. Moving on to the best sashimi. Argentine, ginger, and Zen sushi. Ginger, chef.
la salida. And if we could have Issa Letta to the stage on raw fish as well, please. Issa. Issa Letta.
Patricia, Isabella, and Roberto. And it's the same winners for Zoppel. And that leaves us with the last category for top dishes in the US 2019, and that is Thomas and Kim. The four seasons, Polo Mondo, Shakia. Uh, what we found this year while the adjudicating the top dishes was a, a number of dishes that were absolutely outstanding and deserved a special mention. I'm not going to talk to them all. Maybe we'll just leave them for a few moments. This year there was a special prize sponsored by Nokia. Uh, HMD Global, the manufacturer of the Nokia phones, are offering two Nokia 7.2 smartphones with 48 megapixel of cameras to the chefs of the restaurants who produce the best food pictures in the top dishes competition. Moving away from the culinary, but staying with the artistic. And the two smartphones go to the Dancing Lobster and Red Angus.
i rotke sponsori, kar je sekvarinko v narod dela za ravne šoko sekvarinko omaj, se me prezinke, se prezinke spečalčalo dim restaurante Miko Kokonite Dava Čarkega Reda v Reda Ok, no se prezim oportunitec de a face. Veranda este cel mai frumos mod din București, asta o știți cu toții. No se iștiți, o să spun altceva, o să vorbesc despre altceva, despre modul cum se întâmplă progresul și cum văd eu progresul în România de până acum și despre George prietenul nostru de aici. Deci, România, progresul României se măsoară și în calitatea restaurantelor. Cred că ne vom atinge să zicem un prim obiectiv în momentul când o să începem să avem restaurante cu stele Michelin. Și George ne, ne conduce într-o acolo. Și asta este primul lucru bun. Al doilea lucru pe care vreau să-l spun este că nu poți să faci lucrurile numai riguros, trebuie să le faci și cu pasiune. Și din punctul ăsta de vedere, George este, este un simbol. Dacă citești blogul lui George, dacă citești dacă vezi cum organizează lucrurile cât de precis, spui omul ăsta este omul care merge numai pe logică carteziană. Dar dacă te uiți mai atent, vezi că George este o mare emoție. George îți dă tot timpul impresia că este ușor derutat de viață, de ce se întâmplă în, în, vremea, în, în jurul lui, dar numai prin emoții împinge lucrurile înainte. Pentru mine asta este impresionant. Și revenim. Haideți să fim cu toții să facem lucrurile prin pasiune și prin extaz. Pentru că ăsta e domeniul dumneavoastră. Așa îl percepem cu toții și așa, așa reușim. Vă așteptăm la veranda, ca să spun două cuvinte. Uh, vrem să ne considerați un alt fel de mol. Un mol care, de exemplu, și-a deschis porțile când a fost acea furtună mare în București și a invitat pe toți cei care vor să-și protejeze mașinile să vină acolo. Este un mol liniștit, cu un cinematograf deosebit de frumos. Duceți-vă și o să fiți surprinși. Aveți ultimele rânduri pentru cei care vor să se aprinde focul iubirii din nou făcute special pentru așa ceva. Duceți-vă și, și vă bucurați. Veranda este o emoție ca și ceea ce faceți dumneavoastră. Mulțumesc! Bună ziua! Nu mă rămânește Florin Coma și două minute o să vă vorbesc despre ceea ce am făcut noi în ultima perioadă. Ce am făcut este vorba de un roboțel cu inteligență artificială emoțională. Ce legătură are cu evenimentul de astăzi? Acest roboțel, în foarte scurt timp, va fi pe site-ul Restocrasi și va începe să discute cu oameni. Principalul obiectiv al lui este să ceară feedback și review-uri. El va circula și prin social media și în foarte scurt timp noi mizăm că va atrage suficienți utilizatori, astfel încât să ne facem o idee foarte bună despre părerea oamenilor, despre restaurantele din București și experiența pe care o au ei la restaurantele din București. Dincolo de a lua feedback, el știe să facă mai multe lucruri. Știe să facă și rezervări, dar cel mai important știe tot ce e pe site-ul lui George. Cred că tot fiecare dintre voi știți că 
George are the site with the stock class, millions of information. What is on the site, he knows and he talks about these subjects. The beauty of this, and this means the intelligence of artificial, is that it can do it in an interactive way. So, for to find out, including the winners of the prize for today, he is able to answer questions and to talk in a conversation that can last for an hour or two, if you want to. Și într-un mod interactiv o să prezinte tot ce înseamnă un site în Povestocrație. Un alt obiectiv principal al roboțelului și al nostru este să scoatem lumea la masă în oraș. Eu personal, cred că și dumneavoastră, eu merg foarte mult în lume și mă pasionează turismul gastronomic. Tot în afară, toată lumea a început să, ies, să iasă în oraș. În București, în continuare, există restaurante goale și în continuare oamenii preferă să stea în moluri și să mănânce acasă, ceea ce e o tendință, cred că, la început și lucrurile se vor, se vor schimba. Ultimul lucru pe care vreau să-l spun, roboțelul este foarte drăguț, are avatare, atunci când îl supărați, o să vă ironizeze, atunci când sunteți voi supărat, o să, o, să fie, o să fie și el supărat. Știe bancul, știe ironii, știe să vorbească despre absolut orice. Numai pe de fiecare dată, de exemplu, după ce vă spune un banc, dacă mai vreți să știți al banc, o să ducă discuția către restaurant. Și o să schimbe mereu tema discuției în zona de restaurant. Nu vreau să vă administrez așteptările foarte mult. E un roboțel la început, dar pot să vă spun că știe în momentul de față peste 10.000 de întrebări să răspundă la ele și are peste 1000 de răspunsuri legătură. Și ce vreau să vă mai spun? Nici noi nu știm ce răspunde ea. De ce studiază tot ceea ce îl întrebați și vreau să vă spun și o să vedeți că este foarte interesant. Deci o să încheie așa, în foarte scurt timp, urmăriți site-ul Restocrasii. Roboțelul se numește Bucurie Ești. Puteți să ne urmăriți și pe noi pe Bucurie Ești. Și testați-l. O să vedeți că este foarte, foarte bucuros. Mulțumesc frumos! Ladies and gentlemen, we will take a 20-minute break from the awards just to give you a chance to enjoy each other's company. Completely independent evaluation. For those of you who are visitors to this country, like me, some key statistics just to give you an idea of the scale. At the moment, there are over three and a half thousand restaurants in Bucharest. This year alone, 2019, 200 were evaluated. So with the prices today, it is the top 10% of restaurants in Bucharest based on different criteria and different laws. So, starting with the best restaurant in Bucharest today, Martin, we have the Bistro Francais. Traditional Karasubel.
best Romanian aristocratic. Zex. Best new Romanian. Best new Romanian? New. Best international? Joseph by Joseph Hannan. Best of all from Mediterranean. Joseph by Joseph Haddad. Best South Mediterranean, Kaju. Best fusion, loft. Best Japanese, Yuki. Best Lebanese traditional, Tacola Mondo. Greek traditional Ambrosio.
best Chinese Zen garden? Huh? Oh, beg your pardon, best Spanish Palenegra. Restaurant complex and strong. 
and the most appreciated restaurant show, the Panther Jam. And the restaurant special mention restaurants. Visoja, Charadua, Ankara, and Maligan. That concludes the awards for today. On a personal note, to all your restaurateurs out there, I am deeply sorry if I butchered the names of your restaurants by bringing them to England. Thankfully, the food tastes far better in my palate than the name of the restaurant. Congratulations to everybody and enjoy the rest of the afternoon.